ever wondered how to train your cat effectively in 10 simple steps? Welcome to a world where your feline friend's behavior is not a mystery, but a language to be learned and understood. Cat training is more than just a neat party trick, it's about enhancing the relationship between you and your pet, ensuring their safety, and nurturing their mental stimulation. In this video, we're going to embark on a journey through 10 steps that will transform your understanding of your cat and their behavior. We'll start by understanding your cat's unique personality, then move on to basic commands, positive reinforcement, and the importance of avoiding punishment. We'll also cover the significance of maintaining a routine, socializing your cat, providing mental stimulation, addressing problem behaviors, and the role of regular vet checkups. And finally, we'll emphasize the need for patience and persistence. Stay tuned as we delve into these 10 steps to a well-behaved kitty. Step 1. Understand your cat. Let's dive right in, shall we? To effectively train your feline friend, it's crucial to first understand their behavior, body language, and personality. Cats aren't just small dogs. They have their own unique ways of seeing the world. A cat's behavior, for instance, can tell you a lot about their mood or health. A sudden change in behavior might be their way of saying, hey, something's not right here. Next, let's talk about body language. A cat's tail, ears, and eyes are the windows to their feline soul. A twitching tail can mean excitement, while a low, sweeping tail might indicate fear or aggression. Understanding these signs will help you communicate better with your cat. Lastly, understanding your cat's unique personality is key. Is your cat more of a curious explorer or a laid-back lounger? Knowing this can help you tailor your training methods to suit their personality. Remember, understanding your cat is the foundation of successful training. Step 2. Start with basic commands. Let's dive into the heart of cat training, the art of teaching basic commands. It's like learning the alphabet before writing a novel. We'll start with the ABCs of feline commands. Sit, stay, and know. Sit is an excellent command to begin with. It's simple and easy for your cat to grasp. The same goes for stay, which can be a lifesaver in situations where you need your feline friend to remain put. The no command, on the other hand, can be a little trickier to teach, but is invaluable for setting boundaries. The best approach to teaching these commands is through the use of treats and positive reinforcement. Cats are smart, and they'll quickly understand that obeying equals rewards. Offer a treat when your cat responds correctly to a command. Praise them, let them feel loved. Remember, consistency is key when teaching basic commands. Stick to it and soon your cat will be following your commands like a pro. Step 3. Use positive reinforcement. Now this is all about rewarding good behavior to encourage its repetition. Think of it as the carrot, not the stick, approach to cat training. Cats respond well to positive reinforcement because it makes them associate the rewarded action with good feelings. So, how do you implement it? Well, it's simpler than you might think. Whenever your cat does something you want, like using the scratching post instead of your precious furniture, reward it. The reward could be a favorite treat, a gentle stroke, or some playtime. The key is to make sure the reward is immediate so that your cat can make the connection between the action and the positive outcome. Remember, cats are intelligent creatures with their own likes and dislikes. Experiment with different rewards to find out what your feline friend responds to best. Rewards make learning a pleasant experience for your cat. Step 4. Avoid punishment. We're diving into a crucial aspect of training any pet, especially cats. Punishment does not work. Instead, it can foster fear or aggression in your feline friend. Cats, like most beings, don't respond well to negative reinforcement. They may not associate the punishment with their unwanted behavior, leading to confusion and distress. It's important to remember that cats are not misbehaving out of spite or ill will. They're simply following their instincts or expressing their needs in the only ways they know how. Instead of punishment, try to understand what's causing the behavior. Is your cat bored, anxious, hungry? Once you identify the root cause, you can address it directly and effectively. 
Instead of punishment, embrace patience and understanding. Reward good behavior and ignore the bad. This approach fosters trust between you and your cat, setting a positive tone for your training sessions. Remember, patience and kindness foster trust, making training easier. Step 5. Maintain a routine. This is one of the most crucial parts of cat training. Just like us, our feline friends thrive on consistency. They love to know what's coming next. By establishing a routine, you're not only creating a sense of predictability, but you're also setting clear expectations. This is especially important for feeding times, play times, and training sessions. Consistency is key. Feed them at the same times each day. This helps regulate their internal clock and keeps their metabolism stable. Play times should also be consistent. Regular play helps keep your cat engaged and active, reducing the risk of behavioral problems. And when it comes to training sessions, keep them short, sweet, and regular. You'll find your cat is more receptive and learns faster when training is a regular part of their day. Remember, cats are creatures of habit. They love routine. A routine gives your cat a sense of security and structure. Step 6. Socialize your cat. Socialization is a cornerstone of cat training. It's about more than just having a friendly feline. It's about helping your cat become a well-rounded, comfortable and confident member of your household. Imagine life from your cat's perspective. Every new person, every new environment, every new sound could be a potential threat. By gently exposing your cat to a variety of people, environments and experiences, you help them understand that the world is not a scary place. Take your cat to different parts of your home, let them meet your friends, introduce them to other pets. Gradually, they'll learn to adapt. You'll notice that they start to react with curiosity, not fear, when faced with something new. And remember, it's crucial to go at your cat's pace. Some cats might take longer than others to get used to new things, and that's okay. Socialization helps your cat adapt to new situations with ease. Step 7. Provide mental stimulation. Just like humans, cats need mental exercise to stay sharp and healthy. Mental stimulation is a key component in cat training, and it can be achieved through interactive play and the use of toys. Think of toys as cats' gym equipment. They help keep their mind active and their instincts sharp. A simple laser pointer can provide hours of chase and pounce fun, while puzzle toys can challenge their problem-solving skills. Interactive play, on the other hand, is like a fun study session with your fluffy student. It strengthens your bond with your feline friend and makes learning new commands or tricks a fun experience rather than a chore. Remember, a mentally stimulated cat is a happy cat, and a happy cat is more likely to be receptive to training. So don't skimp on playtime. It's not just fun and games. It's an important part of your cat's training routine. Mental stimulation keeps your cat engaged and eager to learn. Step 8. Address problem behaviors. While our feline friends may be known for their independence, it doesn't mean they're free from problem behaviors. These can range from aggression to inappropriate elimination, excessive meowing, or scratching furniture. Recognizing and addressing these behaviors early is crucial. Start by understanding the cause. Is it stress or medical issues? Maybe the cat's environment needs to be changed. Sometimes the solution can be as simple as providing more playtime, or a different litter box. Other times it might require a more structured approach, using techniques like redirection or desensitization. However, it's important to remember that not all problem behaviors can be resolved at home. If a behavior persists despite your best efforts, don't hesitate to seek professional help. A vet or a cat behaviorist can provide expert advice tailored to your cat's specific needs. Remember, early intervention can prevent problem behaviors from becoming habits. Step 9. Regular vet checkups. Just as you'd visit your doctor for regular checkups, your feline friend needs the same attention from their vet. These visits are crucial for maintaining your cat's health and supporting effective training. Imagine trying to teach a child when they're not feeling well. It's a similar situation with your cat. If they're under the weather, they're less likely to be receptive to training. Regular vet visits ensure that any health issues are detected early and addressed promptly, 
keeping your cat in the best possible condition for learning. Vets also provide valuable advice on diet, exercise and mental stimulation, all of which contribute to a more effective training process. They can help identify any behavioral issues that may be linked to health problems and guide you on how to address them. Remember, your cat's physical health and mental well-being are interlinked. Healthy cats are happier, and happier cats are easier to train. Step 10. Be patient and persistent. As we delve into this final step, let's remember that training a cat is not a sprint. It's a marathon. It's about enjoying the journey as much as the destination. Patience, my friends, is essential. Cats are independent creatures. They march to the beat of their own drum. So, expecting instant results is not realistic. It's crucial to understand that progress may be slow, and that's okay. Every small victory, every little step forward, is a testament to your hard work and your cat's learning. And persistence, that's the second part of the equation. Keep at it, even when it feels like you're not getting anywhere. Consistency is key. Remember Rome wasn't built in a day, so take a deep breath, keep your cool, and stay the course. Know that the bond between you and your cat is strengthening with each training session. Patience and persistence are your best allies in cat training. And that's our 10-step guide to effective cat training. It's a journey that starts with understanding your cat's unique personality and communication style. From there, we move on to teaching basic commands, always with a focus on positive reinforcement. Remember, punishment is a no-go. It's all about encouragement and rewards. Consistency is key, so maintaining a routine is essential. But don't forget to mix things up with plenty of socialization and mental stimulation. These steps help keep your feline friend engaged and well-adjusted. Addressing problem behaviors is part of the process, and regular vet checkups ensure your cat's health doesn't hinder their learning. But above all, patience and persistence are your best allies. Training won't happen overnight, it's a gradual process that strengthens your bond with your cat. Remember, every cat is unique, and training is a journey. Enjoy the process, and happy training!